Okay, for those of you who do not remember where we left off, we got a hold of a rune that allowed us to teleport into the fire mages at the old camp who have all been murdered by the war barons, and we are taking out the war barons because fuck them. Fuck them in the new world order. We're also trying to regain enough power to be able to enchant the sword that we currently have because we need to kill the guy that's uh, the one boss that's inside the final dungeon that's currently protected by some sort of barrier because he probably has the final key we need to get into the room. Now this is the guy I originally sold all my stuff to. Look at every- Oh, more potions. <laughs> Look at everything he has on him. What is this? Light? Storm of Fire, Firebolt, Fireball, and everything we've ever sold to him. We don't need that. We love mass murdering. I specifically love mass murdering this particular group because they fucking deserve it. Um, okay. I have these. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to go through these. I don't know why I'm not just having the bigger one. <coughs> For those who are missing out, this is our current stats. We are currently at level 31. Uh, kind of forced into it. We've spent all of our skill points. We've actually upgraded our strength as high as it can go at 99. We have a strength of 35. Mana goes up to 100. We had a potion that allowed us to push it to 115. We have a shit ton of protection in our new dark robes. With 125 protection against weapons, 55 against arrows, 80 against fire, 44 against magic. We literally had some enemies yesterday when we were playing it that were trying to hit us with fire and they could not touch us. Speaking of fire. Stop your sorcery. Stop your sorcery. Really? Stop your... He's not doing any damage to us, really. Stop. <clears throat> Stop. Stop you. I have no idea who's telling us to stop our sorcery. I have no idea if this will work inside, but we're gonna try. Kill me. That was a big mistake. how it doesn't always work. Well, that seemed to be fun functioning. Gothic. Hi, Angel. You <laughs> we're, we're in endgame. We are definitely going to be finishing this out today. Probably shouldn't have touched them, honestly, until I know if they're against us or not. Really? This was your great plan. Ardo's sword. Ardo. I have no idea what ring he had because I didn't even bother. Can I kill the girl? Out of curiosity? I will free you from this torment. No. <laughs> the women are Skyrim children. Can't be killed. <clears throat> How many points did I put in shoulder pads? So many that at certain angles, you can't see my face. So, Gomez is on the other side of this wall. I have no idea if this will go through it. Definitely killed someone. The 
wonderful. I have no idea. <gasps> Potato! No! Why is this a gifted subs? Thank you for the gifted subs! <clears throat> I can't read these off! Oh my god! Wait, I can. I alt tab out. It's, a, it's like, it's difficult for me to alt tab out. Potato, Rage of Potato gifted a sub to the Camaro Guy 89 and Porky314 and then Talison and then ZT Mackin and then Aerifire Demon and then the Kendronator and then 3DP and then Stream Addicted Joe and then Death Cry 4 Reaper and then Sick Boy 666 and then the Angry Hoogs and they gifted sub to Ruby Snowdrop. And a Korean name I cannot read. I know it's Korean because it got circles in it. Queen Pip, the Reverend Taco, Shad78, Drama Megatot, Robbie Namey 246, um, who that is, and then have a Kit Kat. 91 subs, bet. What? <laughs> Hi, Potato. How are you? How's life? How are things? <clears throat> Where have you been? Oh my god. Gomez is here. He's at half health, so Brain of Fire was working. Wonderful. Potato! Gomez is about to die. Let me get this. There's another 10 gifted subs. Oh my god, Potato. F. Kalen and Florian Kaisui, and then Cheesy Tyro, and Hellion Hell. And then Habuma, and Incredible Lobster Boy, and Aquamady, and Solaro, and Mary Murr, and Graphius88. Thank you for the 30 gifted sub. Holy crap, potato. What the fuck? I'm gonna kill Gomez, except he's gonna probably kill me. I have no idea if he had dialogue. Gomez the Ore Baron is now dead. 100 love of sobs, hoggies. <sighs> Look, a dungeon key. Gomez's bowl opens Gomez's chest, opens the store in the Ore Baron's cellar. <gasps> Greater invincibility, I think I have that ring. And amulet of might, I think I have that. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm cringing at the hoggies. <laughs> Look how beautiful she is. She's all like, well, back to my cleaning. You know the Ore Baron's dead. <laughs> Poggy. Hi, Potato. How are you? I haven't had my coffee. 30 gifted subs is a little obscene. What's wrong with you? No more Poggers, only Froggers. Froggers is a flat frog. He tried to cross the road one too many times. I have my French press because we need to go and get a new coffee machine for anyone who missed out. Because ours broke. Broke is a strong term, though, considering the number of issues it's now having, um, it's better just to replace it instead of even bother trying to clean it out. Because, yeah, it's it's definitely a heating implement. It's definitely having problems. Um, because a 12 cup pot is only producing four cups of coffee until you turn it off and then turn it back on again, and then it will take some more of the water. So, yeah, that's the heating implement. Fucking hell. Oh, I'm glad my nap is just so good. Trying to pour it, and it just went everywhere. Everywhere is also not good. It didn't go everywhere, but it definitely went somewhere else. Oh, shit. You know, I hate to say it. This French press that Isaac got was like a $30, $50 French press. You know how the like, place is overpriced French press. If you really want a French press, you want to try it, get one from Ikea. They cost like 10 bucks. And Ikea's never did this to me. Never dripped everywhere. <clears throat> you can hear the pouring. Oh, yeah. Folgers in my... No, no Folgers. I mean, granted, I'm not using any special coffee grind. I'm basically using a, uh, a Gennaro brand, but uh, it's not Folgers. Folgers is kind of very meh to me. Innos' Rage requires 100... It's 110 damage, requires 90 strength to wield. This is currently 90 damage. This was Gomez's sword. Why 
Why am I picking up shit? I don't need this. So apparently there's stuff in Gomez's chest, though. Ow. You're good. How, am, how are we? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to Angel, you, me, or Wilmer? I am still waking up. I overslept, but I'm pretty good. Isaac's the one who wants to die internally from his job. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Um, I don't know where this chest is, but there's apparently one in the dungeons, and I'm wondering if his chest has to do with something over... No, it's upstairs. Look at all the dead people. Oh my god, I killed these guys too? Wait, where's the guy that originally made us feel like shit? Let me go upstairs. Let's find out where Gomez's home... Whatever was. Where did he stay? There. That was actually relatively complicated. What is this? Protection against weapons. That would have been nice to know beforehand. Cutlery. Oh boy, I got a fork and a knife. Hunt and prey. I don't. I don't want that. So it's right. One, two, three, four, five left. Six right. <clears throat> there we go. Seven right. Protection against weapons again. Again, something that would have been more useful early on than what I have now. I don't know where his room is. Oh, maybe it's one of these. It's got to be the more opulent looking one, I would expect. Like this one. I mean, this has extra rooms. The art of fighting. I don't care. I don't want to read the art of fighting. Everyone was complicit in this misogyny. They say Rose them. Well, no, not everyone was like able to fight Gomez, though. One, four, one, one, two, three, four, okay. That was right, left, 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 right, left. God damn it. Uh, why did I do that again? Left, right, left, 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 right. There we go. Surprising that all, they're all very similar. Is this just a storehouse? You know what? Here. So you guys can see a little better. You're only kidding. I mean, I would normally kill everyone. That makes you feel better. I don't feel like picking all these locks. I don't feel like they're all that great. <clears throat> I mean, they could be, but... Sometimes the bloodlust must be sated. I mean, at this point, I mean, I never particularly cared for the Ore Barons. They were just the easiest to go with. And it's obvious that Diego didn't care for it either, considering he, Lester, and Milton were apparently meeting secretly on the side. For what? I have no clue. Another ladder. Kind of impressed you can go up inside this as much as you can. Um. Oh, jeez. Go up even higher. More chests. Let's just try. Right, right, left, 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 right, no. Right, right, left, 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 left. Right, right, left, 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 no. Right, left. Right, right, left, 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 right. 
Damn it. Right, right, left, 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 right. Four lefts. There. Bunch of potions. Did I get any potions that are like permanent? I don't think so. I have a feeling there'd be a shit ton of potions if I just went through everything. So you could, considering all this is lock pickable, I could have grabbed all this a long time ago, like at the beginning of the game. However, trial and error of the lock pick is sometimes a pain in the ass when you don't have a shit ton of them. Which I think I got 70 off of one guy at one point, so... Yeah, I have 86 left. Actually, I think it was the merchant that I murdered. The one that was all fine with me. Now, the guy at the front gate, Thoris. I'm not gonna kill him. Pretty sure he will not attack me inside, pretty sure. He won't attack me on sight. Um, and if I remember correctly, he is one of the early characters you can run into in Gothic 2 from what I've seen just by running through the beginning when I tested the, the installation of Gothic 2. Um, and so for the sake of canon, we will keep Thoris alive. Unless we burn him and then we're just shocked and amazed and go, Thoris, how, did you, how are you still alive? Shock and amaze. Is this his bedroom? You're not allowed to talk to oh, us. Oh no, she's gonna be bugged. You're not allowed to talk to us. Okay, she stopped being bugged. She's just been taking a bath for forever. Revenge seal, troll fist, four nuggets, crossbow, and then bolt. Okay. I literally got a key off of him. There better be something decent in here. Elixir of healing. Elixir of strength for a strength bonus. <gasps> Drugs. Where's my drugs? It's my truck. I've already had green novice. Look at all these fucking loots. What is this? Northern Dark. Let's have it. I think I've had it. Ah, yes. Drugs. All right, potions. This one, strength bonus. So our strength is now at 187. Morning, Griffalo. Now, if you really wanted to min-max your strength, you would save every single strength potion you pick up until after you have maxed out your strength by training, because the potions will allow you to go over and beyond 100. But if you hit 100 while spending skill points, they will not train you any longer. And I've definitely hit 100 as a result of... Um, I don't want to search this chest. As a result of... Um, I am curious about the dungeons, though. I've hit 100 as a result of... Uh, uh, training and potions. All right, did I kill, what's his name, the guy that punched us in the face in the beginning? Is he gone? An ore nugget. More ore nuggets. How did I not get these ore nuggets? I got them the first playthrough. Thought I did. Oh, I think he's dead. I think we did get bullet. Because he's usually on this side of the yard. Now let's see if they end up attacking. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. He's not Thoris. You're not Thoris. You're not the guy I thought you were. I think.
whatever. So you're saying when you can't improve any more naturally, you should start taking substances for it? Basically. <clears throat> Um, the whole point for coming in here, honestly, is to get the letter off of the one guy, um, off of the fire mage's body, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back. the necromancer <laughs> please don't do drugs <clears throat> look drugs give you experience points in this game they only the first time use of each one which kind of makes sense with some of their names but at the same time i'm still on the whole idea that they were using the swamp weed because one they found out what it did that it was a drug two it kept the sect pretty docile so that the gurus who were more interested in awakening the sleeper could have more control over everyone. And everyone seems super happy with staying there for the drugs. As I can see, you found the ore armor. Yeah, we don't I found it. it in one of those old chests in the sunken tower. It belonged to the general who wielded Eurytziel in the battle against the Yorks. I hope it'll bring me more luck than it did him. Hi, Bodhi. Have you completed the magic formula to reactivate Eurytziel? It's done, but you won't be able to use it by yourself. Why not? It has to be spoken by a magician while you touch the power source with the sword. Then I'll have to look around for some support. Take the formula and restore the sword's former power. You'll need it. I am a magician. Your brain decided to go on the IKEA site to look for the French press, and they have it in a color you love, but they jacked the price up for the color version. How much is it, how much more is it jacked up? Since I'm a magician, it'll be hard for me to wield Eurytziel. There is a solution, but first you have to restore the blade's former powers, then come back. It won't be. <clears throat> Milton! Greetings, my friend. I haven't seen you for ages. Hello, Milton. A lot has happened since we met the last time. I would like to tell you everything, but I don't have the time right now. I'm in a hurry. My shoulder blades are better than your shoulder blades. Milton, I need your help. What's up? How can I help you? Let's go somewhere where we can talk. Fine. Follow me. I hope he doesn't bug it. <laughs> So, from what I've seen, we are currently strong enough that we could probably murder any camp. <clears throat> now tell me, what is it? I need the magic powers of the ore mound, and I don't think it would be a good move to ask the other magicians of water. You're joking. This is no time for jokes. I'm deadly serious. I've seen Zardas, the necromancer. I'm working under his orders. Zardas? You're beginning to scare me. Nobody has spoken to him since he left the old camp. I have. What do you need the powers of the ore mound for? I want to transfer them to this sword here. Wow, what a weapon. Its name is Eurytziel. Zardas gave me this magic spell to carry out the transfer. You will have to recite it while I bring the sword and the ore together. Hmm. Hmm. It looks as if I only have to read out this spell but we'll get into trouble with Saturus and the other magicians. We'll have to take that risk. It really is very, very important. Important for all inhabitants of the colony. I don't understand. It will get us out of here. You have to trust me. All right. After all you have done for us, I trust you completely. Besides, it seems Zardis trusts you as well. Meet me down at the ore mound and don't tell anybody. Good. <laughs> Let's meet at the ore mound. See you there. Hi, Yak. Woo, level up. Yeah, we did get a level up. Um, <clears throat> so 
So I never saw what you whispered to me yesterday, Yak. Um, I have a feeling you were talking about needing a bow. I left the dungeon yesterday if you did not catch the bot at all. Um, I ended up like seeing the reliefs on the walls with the two characters kneeling down with the bow pointing at that one symbol, and I noticed that symbol in a certain location. So I was all like, well, I know where an arrow in the dungeon is, and sure enough, there was an arrow there, but it was only one arrow, and I couldn't find a bow. So I was like, well, I guess we're leaving. So we left the dungeon, went all the way over here, got a bow that I was capable of using, got some extra arrows just in case, went back, shot the symbol that was in the room that looked like it was spike track, sure enough, set something off, and then apparently opened a wall that was in the room that we shot that, and that allowed us to move even further. Yeah, I kind of figured it was about the bow thing with, with the, that. No, I figured that out relatively quickly on my own. I'm pretty good at being able to pick up the... Um, nuances of this game and most games in general um i do occasionally get stuck as we saw with the uh, chromanin because of the i didn't realize chromanin was talking specifically about geographical locations on the map i kind of got the idea with the second one but i didn't fully get it hello not until i figured out the river and i had the river one prove itself to me i want to better myself I, I can't teach can. you. I mean, there's no point in me up to upping dexterity, but whatever. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. All right, or mount. Some people. If you didn't remember if there were any pictures showing the bow and arrow, or whatever. There, there are reliefs that are on the wall. Um, that I was passing, I noticed when I was leaving the temple, when I was going based off my intuition, that it was probably going to be a bow and an arrow. And I pointed out as I was running past that there were reliefs on the wall that were giving hints to all the puzzles. And I noticed the reliefs that show the sarcophagus with spikes under it. And I was all like, oh my god, that's the indication I was supposed to press that button down there that I pressed to lower the spikes in that one trap room. Um... Because at first I was wondering how the hell I was supposed to figure that one out. Where are you here? Why do I have a feeling this is going to be a problem? It's fine. Um, but in the process I also noticed that there were, um... Here. Not that one. You're at seal. In the process, I ended up noticing that there were symbols in certain areas that were showing two figures crouching down. I mean, we're obviously going to go back in there, so I'll point it out again for anyone that missed it. Um, but there were two symbols of there was symbols of two characters kneeling down with bows arched and pointing at a symbol in the sky. The symbol in the sky matched these uh, tiles that were on the wall in a few rooms. I tried one of the rooms. I think was just. It, it was nothing, if I remember correctly. Um, but the main room I needed, it was pretty obvious. I just had to find it, and I did find it relatively Have quickly. you got the sword and the spell? Here, take the spell. Are you ready? As ready as one can be for this crazy plan. Then let's do it. If you think. <laughs> I'm not even wearing that armor. that sly smile of like fuck you the temple of the sleeper it's done unbelievable the plain gray gem is shimmering bluish now i can't even see it because he's too busy looking at this that's a good sign the magic powers of the ore mound really seem to be in the old sword now. 
but our little operation here seems to have attracted some attention. You should teleport yourself directly out of here. What about you? Don't worry about me. I'll think of something. Go now. Uh, let's see what happens if we go up. Oh, let's see. <gasps> Look how pretty the sword is. So what does it do now? 120 magic damage. Fire damage 30. Required strength 30. Let's go murder some people. I'm gonna murder someone. I'm gonna murder someone. Who's the first person in my way? <clears throat> Who wants a sword stuck in their gut? Hello, magic sword here. Apparently one of the strongest magic swords ever made near as we could tell. It's like the master sword, man. Oh. She was on the other foot, basically. I have to say, the magicians of the water scare me more than the magicians of fire. <laughs> All right, up we go. Greetings. I've reactivated Eurizio. It's incredible. The sword has regained its former powers. Now you have a really powerful weapon. You said there might be a way for me to wield Eurizio, though I'm a magician? Look closely at Eurizio. You'll notice the big blue jewel in the blade. It contains the magical powers of the blade. If I remove the jewel, I'll be able to create a magic ruin which contains the attributes of Eurizio itself. A magic rune made from Eurizio? In battle, the rune will be as powerful as the sword, but don't forget that only a magician of the Sixth Circle will be able to control such a powerful magic rune. Remove the jewel from Eurizio. This decision is final. Do you really want me to remove the jewel? Yes, do it. Since it's what you want, here, take the empty sword and the ruin. Bodhi, oh my God, he's up on the book on the wall shelf. Bodhi, you're knocking everything over. Why are you like this? Here, get on your chair. Nice cool layer coming through. Don't you want to smell it? He's all like, but I'm excited today. <clears throat> um. So, even though we could have wielded that, what does this give us? Eurizio's Wave of Death. Magic damage 200. Mana cost 10.
Oh, hello, new made weapon. <laughs> but if you want to specialize in bow, you don't have an option. Yeah, fuck bow users. <laughs> All right. So. Let's go. I'm fine. Bonus for maximum life. Bonus for maximum life. Let's go. Real end game. <clears throat> Let's go. I don't even know where I'm at. Oh my god, the wind outside. Okay, so I am down south, which means I need to turn around and follow this road this way. Rain of fire. Okay, hold on. Let me get this down. Um, we're going to do... Where's my magic? That's not going to be five. Five will continue to be Storm of Fire. Rain of Fire will be four. Six, which is currently Ice Bolt, which we do not need anything that wimpy anymore. There's definitely spells I'm missing, by the way. Um... Where's my... There it is. Six. That will be turned into your Red Seals. You play Gothic 2 and not find it? Not find what? Uh... Oh, a ma... What? A magic bow? Wow. Yeah, I know. Why is there no magic bow? Hi, hon. So we re-enchanted the magic sword, and then we took the magic sword back to the necromancer, and we said, we don't want to use the magic sword because we're a weezord, and he pulled the gem out of it and turned it into a magic rune, and it now casts death spells. Oh, wow, you're a weezord? Oh, weezord. I don't know why I'm worrying about, like, killing things on the way. Um, I only, I made myself some breakfast. Just before I started. <clears throat> I didn't fall asleep until like four. No. No, I coughed. This is no good if you can't hit anything with it. Tell all of you. Fuck you all. Just razors and shit all over this place. Just murdered everything. this now thanks all right technically we can keep going this way why yeah never mind fuck you so if anything comes up and smacks me too quickly it's just useless <clears throat> Which almost makes me wish I'd kept it as a sword. You couldn't sleep all night when your alarm woke you? Ugh. Yeah, I... 
I woke up when Isaac did briefly, but I very quickly fell back to sleep, which is why I didn't start until later today. I was, uh, I kind of had to push myself out of bed, and now I have coffee. You're not making a greenhouse. No greenhouse. Greenhouse not alone. No, the greenhouse takes away from the medieval aesthetic. You're gonna have to make a more modern there town. There were greenhouses in medieval <clears throat> times. No, there were not. No. No. No, in the winter they just starved. No. No, honey. Not the ones you're thinking of. You'd have to research what was there. I don't know what that was there, honestly. Yeah, it's too slow. I kind of wish I had kept the sword, but whatever. There's a reason why I, quit. I made a whole different save game. Because if the end game ends up being way too difficult, we can go back, reload, and use the sword as it was additionally intended. Well, Didi. Well, Didi. Is he just meowing on his own? But well, Didi. He's just on the ground here, meowing and doesn't need magic. He wants your attention. Want he wants your attention. attention. Don't do that. I had to pull him off of the wall. symbol of murder now it does not kill them not easily you said under all se is still in review on steam and sure ai has ran out of keys it's not even a one-shot kill now I, I don't even know what any of those are i'm sorry i mean i know oh, what ender all's se oh, is SE but is, it's for uh, the special, special edition, edition. that's I know. why we I understand now. Under review, if for, that, is that the one you were talking about the other day, Agarim? Because that's, it's possible it might have been so buggy and wasn't working that they pulled it. Um, and it might be under review because the original mod, mod creator pulled it. I don't know. Just a uh, speculation. <sighs> So, as much as I like the weapon, I know, I need to concentrate on this, I'm sorry. He's going nutsoid. It's because you gave him catnip. Why are you drugging our child? One of them. The other one prefers them more. <clears throat> Bodhi. Buddy just rolled off of the little scratching thing. He like rolled over and just sort of flopped off of it. Don't know on forums, it just seemed like Steve's taking a long time. I don't know. 
I mean, it's essentially a mod. You could probably, you might be able to just download it elsewhere for all you know. I don't know. This is a really long run just to get back to it. Mm hmm. It's Friday night. What time's it at? means if we're going to the store we have to go first and I have no room to cook anything okay. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be also I don't think it's supposed to just close oh, come on where's the thing to open it I think it's around here somewhere There it is. Body? Is it just sprinkled catnip on the little scratching thing that is that Body uses? And Body's going batshit with it. Body D. Body D. <laughs> Fuck you, Ellie looks silly. That's right, to the left. I know where I'm at. Okay. I will say that. While it's a little bit interesting that they attempted to push us through... So there's a there's a uh, thingy around here somewhere. While it's a little interesting that they extended the story by having us go out, it also feels... It still feels um, artificially extended because coming back in here just feels forced. Because I killed everything on the way back. The only thing that's around is that one whatever the hell it is that's making the hissing noises the mind crawler wherever it is i have a feeling it's below us somewhere and i just don't care the body the body is going absolutely insane body are you bunny kicking your little scratching post he's bunny kicking Okay, so the reliefs showing again, because I know I wanted to show Yak, are here. They're around in a few different places. This was one of my indicators, because I realized it wasn't the first time I'd seen it. I passed by, I think, two more on the way in here, and I didn't really point them out. That symbol up there, and the fact that there's two characters crouching down, I saw that, and it was all like... I, when I first saw it, I was all like, this has got to mean something at some point. And then I ended up noticing that particular tile and I was all like that's the same symbol oh fuck I need a bow because I tried aiming at it with a spell can't aim at it with a spell a bow auto aims it so I ended up having to leave going to grab a bow grabbed a bunch of arrows at the same time just in case and uh yeah that was pretty much it since you're in Corona Hell now more than ever, maybe there will be a full week of anticipated holidays to slow down the cases? I don't know. What? Not that way. This way. I remember it was like straight across I was thinking when I was leaving. That guy's body is still there. <clears throat> and then I go through there. Hello, my buddy. Are you up and now back over here? Here, I'll open the window. Because apparently you need some air. You had one too many drug. One too many kitty drug. A week off sounds like heaven right now. I just want to go back to work at some point. Like, like I said, it's uh, the streaming has been nice at everything, but I do miss being at work. Streaming's been really nice. Like, I would love to continue to explore games on a daily basis. But... I also would love to go back to work. Alright. Ring of Death. 
Pretty sure I need it for him. I hope he's still glitched out. There he is. He's definitely still glitched out. Yeah, so he breaks and he seems to consistently break. He did attack us, other than the story base, he attacked us one other time, but he just breaks and freezes. Breath of Death, that's what he was using on this. So it's a six circle and it does a hundred damage. How fast does it cast? Let me find out. Here, get rid of eight, put that one on. It's a faster cast, but. I can't do anything about the fact that the the uh, the characters are breaking, <clears throat> which is one of the thing reasons why I would love to see the game remade. He attacks you only if you attack him by sword. No, um, no, he broke with us. If you look at yesterday's uh, when we encountered him, so I think it was UCF that ended up giving me the idea that we had to hit him with the sword. You can hit him with any other weapon. You don't trigger the whole journal entry of, oh my god, he can't take any damage unless you hit him with a sword. Which is kind of stupid. I think any attack should do it, but it doesn't. Because I hit him with multiple spells and it didn't trigger that whole dialogue. Um, he was attacking us, me, while I was running down this bridge. And at one point, he just froze in that position. The first time I encountered him prior to having to reload, he came here and froze in that position and didn't even attack. The second time, he came in that position and attacked us any time we proceeded down the bridge. Unless you managed to get around him. Then when I got around him, he kind of froze in the same position he did beforehand, and he stopped. I've hit him with multiple times beforehand. He just freezes. I think he breaks. I don't think he's, I don't, I don't think he's intended to be that way, because the one thing I did notice is that if you look down this ravine... Um, over here. Fuck. Well, I mean, even here is a good spot to point out. There's ways for you to move around underneath the bridge and around over here. And I think you were partly intended at some point to have to go under and to the side of the bridge underneath it to avoid his breath of death just to get up to him just to either trigger story or get around him or whatever it was that was needed. I think that might have been the original intention. Because none of the other ravines have geometry like this built into it. They're just ravines, because I've jumped off a few of them in here. This is the only one that had geometry that you could actually jump down to and climb around with. Try the new spell, you never seen it. I just used it multiple times. There's nothing else to do with it. Or which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the Ring of Death? It's kind of boring. That's it. It's five it's five MP, so it's really cheap to cast. Um real end game. No, the other? Which other one? You mean death to the undead? Or, oh. The breath of death that he did? I already cast it. I could do it again, but it's it doesn't really show you much. This one? Here. But versus an enemy? There's no enemies. I'd have to leave, and I don't want to do that. I mean, it's it, there's no enemies around. That's my problem. By the time I get this, there's just... Unless I want to walk, run out, there's just... Eh. Oh yeah, no, the sound effect is great. Here. Breath of Death. Save. 
real end game. That way, if we want to, we can run out. We can use versus the next enemies. I don't know if there are any others, is there? I mean, here. Storm of fire, rain of fire. Get rid of rain and fire. Breath of death. Zardus? Why is Zardus here? What? Reloading. <clears throat> much time so listen carefully how did you the sleeper is not far I had to use all my power to get here I have translated the Orcus prophecies and discovered what the five hearts are about the five hearts of the priest you defeated were placed in five shrines these shrines may be opened but only the ancient blades carried by the priest can harm the hearts now you must pierce the hearts with the five blades only thus will you be able to drive the sleeper from this world. I understand. Hurry, for the awakening of the Archdemon is nigh. The crazed Kor Kalam and his misled disciples are here. They have gathered in the Hall of the Sleeper. I've bled enough. Nobody can stop me now. The might of the Sleeper is growing stronger and stronger. I cannot. What's wrong with you? I must. Is he gonna go on the ground? He he needs a, he needs a nap. <laughs> a lot of fives, yeah. Well, all right. So if the if Corcolome and his Templars are here, then yes, I think those were the enemies you were talking about. Um. I'm probably going to use Ring of Death, but we could try using this with some of them. Uh, it's a chest. Yeah, you can't. Oh, you can search these mummies. Elixir of life, bonus for maximum life. Bonus to strength and dexterity. Holy shit, hold on. Oh my god. These are all bonuses. It's all like, are you strong enough? Well, let's make sure. Why? Old man takes it to temple. <laughs> takes nap in temple more at eleven. Yeah, pretty much. So there were. So he, here's the one thing you can notice: these are highlighting, but they're not exactly coming up with names. There were other mummies in the temple that I didn't do that to because I didn't see names with them, and I realized that's just it's just freaking out. That's all. Here, bonus for maximum life. Bonus for maximum life. Maximum life, maximum life, maximum life, mana, mana, supremacy, strength, strength. I just chug a lugged. Um, I have 145 mana, 555 life, 129 strength, and 67 dexterity. Fucking insane. Some tonight, it's time to time to notice it. Oh my god, the shoulder pads. I think I'm more amazed at all the maximum everything we have. The game is just all like, we want to make sure you win. Here's everything. I'm like, okay. So, you need the five hearts, which I'm assuming is going to be this way. I have ten skill points. 
What am I going to do with those? I do have 10 skill points. They just tap another way here, so fuck it. All right. What? Really? Oh no. Like, are you done with those? No? Here, have some more. Oh my god. Do most people find this shit? Or do they just skip over it because they're not paying attention? That's what I want to know, because I feel like my stats are going, like, way high. Oh my god. I heard y'all need more permanent stats. <laughs> Here, more mana, more mana. More mana, more mana, more dexterity and strength, more strength. Usually people find this is not that difficult. Okay, yeah. My God. Oh yeah, any more health. Two hundred and five mana, six hundred and eleven life, one hundred seventy five strength, seventy three dexterity. We're fine. Let's go. So this was not the way to go at all. Are the hearts supposed to be those little like? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Either I have to go back through the temple. Which is very likely. Well, no, there's those. Okay, those go down. Never mind. I don't have to go back. There are others. No, these are all the potions I have. I have a feeling the Rune of Death is going to be pretty dull to look at. Because when it, he was casting it on us, it was kind of dull. It's dull. On the plus side, though, it's it's so fast they can't get they can't get it off they can't hit me, so I will probably be making use of this. Yeah, it still had drugs, by the way. I took all of his drug. Oh, shit.
God damn it. I'm just using that. Fuck it. Like, the other one's nice and all, but... It's not as good as that one. take them all on that's the sleeper I think they're stuck. I think Cor Cologne is trying to approach me. What's this ultimate spell do? Magenta smoke. God damn it. Come on, game. Um The Kingdom of Fucking Mutana, Hell. United by King. We're hold on. I'm fucked. God damn it, the game broke. I have to force quit. So, little issues with this. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done just new game because I'm the shit. And thanks for your. So I'm going to have to go up to each of these. Let me test something out real quick. At last, we meet again. My master has already told me of your arrival. He can sense that you are near. I'll soon be nearer to him than he would like me to be. We will not let you foil our plans. The world is about to witness the awakening of the Redeemer, and nobody can stop him. All the infidels out there will pay the price, and you shall have the honor of being the first to pay. His subtitles aren't there. Sleeper awaken. Making sure the subtitles are supposed to be there. I don't know what it's under, honestly. Oh yeah, no, subtitles.
killing Callum. It is chapter six, sorry. Doesn't really matter though. You killed him. He's just running off. He's just running off. Definitely doesn't seem it. He's just running off. <laughs> All right, here's what we're doing. Um, currently I have protection against fire, magic arrows, weapons. I think I'm going to want some more fire protection, so... On with the Orc Talisman. Be like, oh no, my fi I'm burning. I'm stuck on the geometry. Just fucking hell. I don't know if that was a good idea for me to kill him, but I'm gonna try it. that count? Or was that interrupted? I think it was interrupted. I'm fine with it being interrupted as long as I can do it again. Oh no. Turns around the moment he does it. There he goes. This might work this way. But I'm gonna have to spend some time killing things that get summoned like this demon over here. <gasps> Got killed by, uh, what's his name? Alright. Careful, 
safe here. And the potion's gone. Run back. I can't save it there. Because the potion wears off the moment you do that. Yeah, the sleeper killed him. I'm fine with that. I don't really need this one, but eh, whatever. Come on. go that was two how many are there five that was one two three four five not too bad Keep on pressing the wrong spell. pretty hard if the arena was closed. Oh yeah, no. Like, there's lots of ways that this could be difficult. Definitely. The haste potions definitely make this much better. left alive no one left alive no one left alive what did I say no one left alive There's, there's a lot of ways this could have been a lot harder, but honestly, with the way this game plays, um, this, this fight is definitely, it's not, it's not horrible, but it's not super insightful or great. I hate how I keep on forgetting exactly which spell I put, I put which, uh, when I put Ring of Death on, it's number six.
When the sleeper was banished into his own dimension, I returned to daylight. The magic barrier had fallen. But for me, the adventure had only just begun. The boss fights could use some reworking, so uh, <coughs> provided the remake ends up seeing the light of day, which is looking hopeful, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking it's going to go the way of the Dodo like some other game remakes have, look like they're doing. Um, I'm very interested to see what they do with the boss fights. Uh, despite any of the low points of this game, I fucking love Gothic. It's really good. Um... <laughs> The end fight was rather funny, and I do like how overly powerful you end up feeling. Even if the end game is just like, I basically kind of phoned it in because I was so strong, it it felt good to feel that strong at the end, and that's saying something. Um, yeah, it's old, it shows its age still, but for showing its age, it holds up better than a lot of other games do. Um, I can see why people really like it. I'm looking forward to Gothic 2. You got here for the credits. Hi, Sharp Teddy. Yeah, Gothic 2, I'm going to start next week, for sure. Um, I really want to start it today, but I've been putting off Zelda and Silent Hill too much, and I do uh, want to clear out Silent Hill so I can have room for uh, Mothers and Grace on Tuesday. Um, and the game was all but a victory lap for me, yeah. <laughs> no, but it was hysterical, and it was great. So, the Breath of Death is not the greatest rune on the face of the planet, but it's so fast to cast that you can't be interrupted, so I can see why it was a good one. The Ring of Death that we got from the Arisiel Sword, I'm kind of glad I did that just because I don't think a lot of people ended up playing the game that way, and I think it's really good. Dit Sweet Thing, thank you for the follow. So, yeah, Gothic 2 is definitely going to be starting next week. Um... I would say keep an eye on the channel just in case somehow I end up streaming this weekend and playing it because I really, really, really want to start it up and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, no, this is this is definitely one of those games. If it's still on sale on GOG and you think it looked interesting, I don't think I got every tiny little thing in it. There's definitely more of the world I feel like I could have explored. Um, I know there's patches out there that's supposed to add in the content that was cut. Um, there's a lot of stuff to end up, like, making the game better in a lot of other ways. Graphically improves it in, like, the DirectX 11. Um, but yeah, no, I think it was, like, 2 bucks and 50 cents on GOG last I checked this week, at least. Yeah, there's a lot of mods, and there's a lot of people who love the, goth the Gothic as it was for what it was, that there have actually been people, I don't know for Gothic 1, but Gothic 2, they've actually remade certain stories with it in different games. Um... That was an absolute treat, and I'm just really, really glad I ran across everything about it and ended up finally trying it. 